The first pillar, which I evaluated, was the economic and the first indicator is the visitor flow. Visitor flow is useful because it shows how much a destination relies on a specific source market for its revenues. In the region, Graubunden, already before COVID-19 domestic tourism, represented an average of 60% of total overnight stays, above the European average of 54% in the same tourism year, 2018-19. With regards to the source markets of tourism in Graubunden, the most prominent is Germany, with about 16% of overnight stays in the tourism years, 2017-18 and 2018-19. After Germany, about 3% of overnight stays were represented by the UK and 2% by the USA. After them, a few source markets contributed in a percentage of 1% to the total overnight stays. This indicator shows a good distribution of the origin markets, even though the big role played by Germany could be critical if Germans could not travel to the region for some reasons. YC Arena Gruppe's net income has been constantly increasing from about 2 million Swiss francs in the tourism year 2017-2018 to more than 21 million francs in 2021-22, with the only exception of the year 2019-20, when COVID-19 caused them to generate a limited loss. According to the statistical framework of the UNWTO, the seasonality in a destination not only refers to environmental and social dimension, but can have an effect on the economic dimension too. Suppliers in the tourism sector could suffer from not having sufficient resources to maintain their incomes during the low season periods. This is certainly not the case of Flims, Laex Valera, where a single company comprises many different stakeholders. But we were told in Laex that they rely on the winter season which generates 85% of their total revenues compared to the 65% of total overnight stays in. The year, which reflects a high level of seasonality of revenues, and thus there is room for improvement. The economic benefits also consider who can take advantage from the revenues and investments generated in the destination. The percentage of second homes in Flims Lax Valera is quite high, more than 70% in all three municipalities, making the economic benefits that derive from the Tourism industry, not available to locals, that represent only a minor part of the ownership share in the destination. The next indicator, evaluating the assets and the investments in the destination, shows that in the last 10 years they completed the Pro Kicker line in the snow park, opened the largest half pipe in the world, and started operating the new 10-seater gondola. And they are now working on the innovative project of the Flem Express, testifying huge investments in the tourist infrastructure in the destination. In fact, from their financial statements, it is visible how they yearly increase their investments in material assets, which reached the incredible amount of above 68 million Swiss francs in the year 2021-22. The last indicator used to evaluate the economic pillar is the employment, considered under an economic perspective. Data about the entire regions or provinces of Imboden and Surselva were analyzed. It must be stated that also jobs in the dining sector were considered as job in the tourism industry, even though not all restaurants' activity is consumed by tourists. Nonetheless, this was made to get a general understanding of the current situation in the destination. For this indicator, it would be correct to allocate the right proportion of consumption related to each sector. Not all food service is consumed by tourists show that in the number of full-time equivalent jobs in accommodation and dining in Imboden contributed to 10.18% of total. Jobs in 2016. This number continued to slowly decrease till 8.0% in the year 2020. Of course, COVID-19 and the pandemic crisis contributed to this decrease, but already in 2019, the contribution of tourism industries to total employment in this area had decreased to 9.9%. In Sir Selva, Evidence shows that the trend is different, with accommodation and dining slash food service contributing to 13.30% of the total full-time equivalent jobs in the year 2016 and a continuous trend, which led tourism industries to count for 15.82% of total jobs in the year 2020. The second pillar for the sustainability analysis is the environmental one, and for it, I first used the indicator of water consumption. I couldn't find any data about the total water consumption of the destination, but it is to say that in the annual report 2021-22, they declare that they consumed 10.1% less water than the previous year for snowmaking. 
Still, since they manage the whole destination, the Green Style Foundation would probably have the resources to measure the total water consumption. Together with water consumption, I analyzed energy consumption. Flims lacks Falera consumes, according to what Rado Fry told us, 28W a year, of which 60% still comes from fossil fuels. Moreover, they still consume an amount of about 350,000 liters of heating oil. With the Green Style Foundation, they have plans that show the possibility through new, more sustainable buildings and transport, for example, to reduce the energy consumption of 6.8 GU by 2030. They also plan to eliminate the use of heating oil by 2026, thanks to new efficient buildings. This is remarkable, but the projections we were shown in LAIC seem a bit optimistic. Certainly, they're doing good with some actions, such as the first mountain bike trail to be built without any fossil fuels, and the installment of ALAD lighting in the Rocks Assort parking lot with motion sensors save up to 90% of energy. During our meetings with the employees of YC Arena Group, we were shown the terrain corrections they have done to build the snow park. They changed the steepness of the ground and adapted it to the shape of the pro line. On the other hand, thanks to this intervention, they stated that they save 44% of the total amount of artificial snow during the preparation of the snow park, and they also consume 40% less diesel, reducing the CO2 emission of the same percentage. The fourth indicator of environmental sustainability is the respect of the environment. Red O'Fry itself admitted that with the new project of the Flems Press, they're going to use concrete that doesn't come only from the region, and in this sense, they could be more sustainable. But this is probably no one does in the real world. He also mentioned that the Rock Resort is not very respectful to the environment, and also not the best in terms of sustainability. The big windows are, in his opinion, a trap for many birds and do not help in the energy saving, as they're less efficient. Nevertheless, the Green Style Foundation project started only in 2010 and could not really have a say on the construction of the Rock Resort. But he said that they are now trying to improve and enhance a more sustainable construction. An example regards the installation of vertical photovoltaic panels that produce energy also when there is snow on the roof. In addition to this, they offer a shuttle bookable for guests within the destination and they created a wild bee paradise that offers over 70 different flowers for insects and wild bees. The last indicator for environmental sustainability is the waste production. The Green Style Foundation has the motto of reduce, reuse, recycle, and they have a goal, zero waste, which they want to reach by 2030. In the year before COVID, when they had a high number of arrivals, their production of residual waste increased and reached its maximum again after the year 2020, where they had a relevant decrease in the waste production. For obvious reasons, their waste production restarted to increase. Then, despite an increase in overnight stays in the year 2021-22, compared to the year 2020-21, they were able to reduce the residual waste of almost 24%, 42 tons. Still, their projections of zero waste by 2030 results at least optimistic. The third pillar is the last included in this analysis, and it is the social one. Thanks to the particular business model, unique in the Alpine region, the YC Arena Gruppe has always had the possibility to take decisions quickly, and also for this reason, to be innovative. This enhances a better management of the whole destination, since almost all stakeholders involved in the destination management and planning belong to the same organization and the conflicts that arise in the decision making are internal and do not cause fights for competition. Employment, under the social perspective, considers the number of jobs generated and the seasonality. It is hard to say if the number of jobs is increasing because in the previous annual reports, the company just stated that they had in total more than 250 full-time equivalent jobs and in the last annual report, they added the specific number. What is sure is that the YC Arena, Gruppe states that 1,100 people are employed during the winter season compared to 400 working in summer. The online reviews on Kununu.com rate the company with 3.4 stars out of 5, with negative feedbacks focusing on average low salaries and on chances of moving forward in the company that are quite low. Another relevant element are the negative reviews received as consequence of the death of a 17-year-old apprentice in December 2022 while working on a cable car when he was hit by a cabin drive with proceedings for negligent homicide were open. This indicator helps understanding what is the perception that guests have about the destination. 
An analysis of the online reviews of the destination Layex, rated 4.6 on Google, shows that guests slash customers are happy with the destination in general. It is though important to mention that in the last winter season, several negative feedbacks, with just one E, were published by customers, disappointed by the new dynamic prices, which in their opinion were always too expensive, also when a large part of the lifts was closed due to bad weather. Conditions, on the other hand, Googling YC Arena, a GIA, you can see that there are less reviews and that the average rate is 3. 4. With customers complaining about gondolas that were not operating and caused queues, and also about shortened operating times. Also here, the incident which involved the apprentice in December 2022 is mentioned, with users accusing the company to not give importance to their employees' safety. My personal perception, while conducting this analysis, is that the information we got from Rito Fry and all the representatives of the company in LAX and what is contained in the annual report show some differences in facts and figures, resulting in a transparency that could be improved. The last indicator I introduced is the accessibility to which I give a broad meaning. Considering, for example, the house market in the destination, in Flims, Lax, and Falera, as mentioned above, more than 70% of the houses are second homes. After a Swiss legislation of 2012, in those municipalities where this share is above 20%, it is now impossible to build new second homes. The negative side of this prohibition is that the prices for privately owned apartments went up to 16,000 Swiss francs per square meter in Flims and Falera, and 13,000 in Laax in 2021. These prices doubled from the beginning of the century. One negative remark that I would like to point out is that in the website of the destination Flims Lax Falera, there are no easy accessible information for people with disabilities, which makes me perceive the destination as projected for freestylers, but not very welcoming for everyone.